this is a Weekend Explorer Quick Trip. Glacier Country covers the westernmost part of Montana, the United States' fourth largest state. The National Bison Range is in the very heart of Glacier Country. On arrival to the National Bison Range, Ranger Pat Jamison took time to tell me more. Pat, we're here at the National Bison Range, which is a refuge for what we call here in America, for the most part, buffalo. Of course, they're not real buffalo. Why don't you tell us a little bit about that? Well, the National Bison Range is one of the oldest national wildlife refuges in the country. Um, Theodore Roosevelt started it back in 1908 when he was starting the refuge system. Mm -hmm. 2008 is the 100th anniversary. Uh, we're, it's, uh, it's a beautiful refuge, been here again for a long time protecting the bison or the American buffalo. And what did the herd start at size-wise here at the refuge? The original herd that was brought in, um, there were 34 animals donated through the American Bison Society. Um, William Hornaday's group, uh, Theodore mm -hmm. Roosevelt was honorary president of that. And there were a few other bison added on and then gradually over the years they've increased to at maximum, we have about 500 animals. We try to have about 380 here for the winter time. And how many buffalo exist throughout the United States, approximately? There's probably about 25,000 in the private herds, and those land bases are stable, so the population there doesn't tend to increase. But there's probably 350,000 or more in the private herds, and that's really where the numbers are coming up. Wow, that's, that's a huge amount. Due to the wide open space of the National Bison Range, a lot of the wildlife is easy to spot. Within just a few minutes, we came on these white-tailed deer. Just a little further along the road, we came upon this black bear and her cubs. She was protecting a deer carcass that she most likely found scavenging. With winter coming on, this bear will be extremely protective of such a valuable food source. This is especially true due to her need to feed not just one, but two cubs. For your own safety, give wildlife lots of space here. They all have claws, horns, or fangs, and they're not just for looks. Once, there were as many as 50 million pronghorn antelope in the Great Plains. They were killed off, along with the bison, at the end of the last century to a low of 12,000 in 1915. Today, there are about a million animals, most of them in Wyoming and Montana. Visit us online at WeekendExplore.com, watch full episodes on PBS, and follow us on Facebook and Twitter.